Okay, so let's see how works the 3D space effect. You can see here all the objects we have, the different planets, the sun, the stars, the space back. But the most interesting thing is this control look. Because moving this control, all the objects move in different ways, creating this 3D effect. But how does this work? Next to this control, there is a target that I use to connect the different objects. But one thing I did was change the origin of each of these objects to the same position of the target. This way, I can use a relation constraint using the same targets and different values for the strength depending on the position of, of each of these objects. So, for example, the big planet, the red one, because it's in front, you can see that I use negative 70 for the strength. But for the space back, that is these stars and these lines, because it's in the back, I use negative 100 for the strength. This does mean that the red planet moves less than the space back. And because all these values are negative, all these objects move in the opposite direction to the control. So this is the way that the 3D effect works. Now, if you want to make the control follow the cursor, what you need is a hitbox and a listener. A hitbox to know where is the position of the cursor, and a listener to connect the control to the cursor. Let me show you how it works. Because I want to track the whole at board, I'm going to create a square that covers the at board, like this. I'm going to center a little, rename hitbox, and hide the color. Now, for the listeners, in the same machine, I'm going to add a new listener here. And in the properties, use the option pointer move and align targets. And now I only need to select the target I want to follow the cursor, that is the control look. Now, when I play the machine and move the cursor, the control look follow the cursor. And that's it. This is all you need to know about this 3D space effect. In the next video, I'm going to show you how works the arms of the character.